I'm News 3 reporter Cole Terenstad at Norfolk International Airport, where TSA is holding a demonstration on how to properly pack a carry-on bag like this for a flight. It may be common knowledge for many people, but for many others, it's not. And that's why the TSA chose to hold the demonstration. They say the number one problem is liquids, gels, and aerosols, but this is also going to be a record year for guns here at the airport. Properly packing a carry-on bag starts with opening up the bag and making sure it's empty. A lot of times we have old bags that we just throw stuff in and then things can be stuck in the bottom of the bag that we're not aware of. Madalou Michelle was flying for the first time Tuesday, but says she has a basic understanding of carry-on rules. Mostly just common knowledge not to bring any like metal objects that are absurd. Earl Davidson was also traveling Tuesday. He's only had a problem with carry-on items one time. I brought too much uh Either cologne or something in the bottle. Yeah. And I was really perturbed that I had to throw it away. Liquids, gels, paste, and aerosols can't be any more than 3.4 ounces and have to be in a quart sized bag, but there are some exceptions. As for guns, they can't be carried on, but they can be put into checked luggage as long as the gun is unloaded in a hard side case and declared when you check your bag. There had been 27 found in bags at the airport in 2023 which the TSA says is a record. What we hear all the time is, I didn't know it was in my bag. And that's very frustrating to us because as former law enforcement, you got to know where your gun is at all times. And for people to say, I didn't know a gun was in my bag. Do you have kids? Were the kids around? So that excuse is, is very uh, disturbing. TSA believes there are more guns being found because more people are flying and because people are becoming complacent. We move further away from 9-11. We have more incidents on aircraft, we have more incidents at checkpoint, with passengers getting upset. I think that's part of it. I'm just going, I'm going, I'm going to get an airplane, not let me think about what I'm going to do. Getting caught with a gun could mean a civil fine of up to $15,000 as well as criminal charges. For more information about how to properly pack a carry-on bag, check out this story on our website, WTKR.com. And Norfolk, Coulter Instat, News 3.